In my work, I love the elements of pure exploration. I love how you take your whole laboratory to sea and you have teams of engineers and scientists and you're all working together to answer these sort of big, bold, large questions. Like, where is there life on the seafloor? Where is there life below the seafloor? Is there even life is an open question at all times. In my research, I'm trying to understand what fuels and sustains life in the deepest parts of the ocean and even the rocks that lie beneath. I'm focused on what the microorganisms are doing. Just any sort of tiny life form that is down there on the size range of a micron. One of the fascinating things about being a microbiologist is that this base of any food pyramid we have on Earth is tiny, tiny organisms we can't even see. It's fascinating and frustrating to go after something that can't talk to you, right? <laughs> and so, you know, what are you doing down there? I know it's important, you know, just sort of finding the different ways to coax an answer out of a single-celled organism. <laughs> yeah, 400 microns times 17, and then this is the total amount of milliliters that should have been. I'm funded by NASA to try and understand these limits of life type questions on Earth with the hopes that it'll better inform where we come from and how life evolved on Earth and where life may potentially exist elsewhere in the solar system or beyond. As long as I can remember, my summer afternoons were spent wandering around in the backyard. Being fascinated by plant life forms is how I first became interested in the natural world and it continues to this day. With each expedition, I am always excited to just see what's there. It is so fascinating that every time we go down there, we find something new. There's all these time capsules of our Earth's history buried and just waiting for us to go down and discover.